Okay, so on my YouTube home feed, a new video has come up by Rubin Israel. And it's basically he's having an altercation with some, I guess they're some event runners or managers at some stadium somewhere that decided to host some kind of drag show or something like that. I don't really know a lot about this. Right. And the thumbnail that Rubin Israel has chosen to use for this video is a load of drag queens basically men dressed as women in drag to push their sodomite agenda, right? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't the Bible say, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes? I hate the work of them that turn aside. So what's Reuben Israel's solution here? To pelt my eyes, to molest me in the eyes with men dressed up as women and not even just like trying to look like women, but just overly sexualized caricatures of actual women, right? And Reuben Israel wants to tell you, I've turned from all of my sins and I don't sin anymore. 1 John 3, I do not sin, I keep the commandments and you have to turn from all your sins. So then he pelts my eyes with this filth, okay? Pelting Christians in the eyes with this, okay? You know, Job made a covenant with his eyes. He wouldn't even look at a pretty girl, okay? Because he didn't want that sight of those to, to lead him into sin. And then Reuben Israel is pelting you in the face with the sodomites, okay. Now it's Pride Month, by the way, when this happens. It's bad enough that we have to look at these freaks and weirdos when YouTube is pelting us with this nonsense. But then if that's not bad enough, we have to be pelted with more of it from these thumbnails by the very people that tell you that you have to turn from all of your sins to be saved. And they love preaching at pride parades, don't they? They absolutely love it. They love to glorify themselves at all these pride parades. Look at me and we're preaching against these people. and Look at all these terrible sinners, you know, coming up to the man of God and, and whatnot and glorifying themselves to make themselves look good in front of their audience. But then you're molesting Christians in the eyes by showing me drag queens in the thumbnail. Isn't it bad enough that we have to see it from the sodomite parade themselves? And yet you're doing it as well. And just um, a little bit of information for Christians who happen to be watching this, by the way. As far as I can tell, and I apologise if I'm mistaken, but the drag queens that he's featured in this thumbnail are not actually people that were featured in the video. He's just took it from some news clip and he's attached it to the video for sensationalism to get views and to get people agitated and clickbait. They're not even featured in the video. They're not drag queens that he actually confronted. He's just uploading this filth for sensationalism. That's all he's doing. Tell me more about how you've turned from your sins, Reuben Israel, as you molest me in the face with this filth. Go on, tell us all how you've turned from your sins. The Bible says, I will set no wicked thing before my night, and you are setting this wicked thing before people's eyes, and before your own eyes, because you looked at the thumbnail and uploaded it, you idiot. You haven't turned from your sins. You're a filthy, wicked, disgusting hypocrite, and you are twice the child of hell as even these reprobates, because that's the kind of sick... Bible twisting liar that you are to tell us that you've turned from all of your sins and you don't sin anymore because of 1 John 3, which is, by the way, that's not even what 1 John 3 actually says, Reuben Israel. But you're such a liar and you pelt people with this filth and then exalt yourself as having turned from all of your sins. You are going to split hell wide open, you evil, wicked hypocrite.